Greetings, people on the other side of the internet. I am the one cut, and this is my case mod again for my main build this time. And this time it's with LEDs and a uh, uh, fan controller and cool stuff like that. So this will be an unboxing of the fan controller. I already did a video with the LEDs, so that'll be in a different video. I'm just gonna speed through uh, video-wise. I might just skip over entirely of the uh, LED portion of this video. So let's get started. All right, first you get a box. In this box, you get another box. Rockmaster. It's a um, deep pool product. It has a, well, we'll get into that in a minute. All right, let's open this thing up. And we have four fan knobs, two USB 3.0, and a card reader. All integrated into this nice um, metal, solid metal um, casing. We have the instruction set. We have the USB 3.0 to uh, USB 3.0 header. We have four screws. We have one, two, three, and four uh, fan extension cords. And we have this this uh, Molex splitter cable and uh, adapter. And then we have a USB. Uh, 2.0 extension cord with which is for the uh, card reader. All right now that we have everything Let's take the computer away And put it in a workspace. We know we can do stuff with oh, let's also grab the stuff That's, that's important. So here are some glamour shots of the uh, Thing because I decided to take some glamour shots for no apparent reason and you no, know, it looks cool That maybe gives you a better uh, view of it Ooh, all right, moving on. We're gonna speed through most of the disassembly process because it's pretty, pretty standard here, I guess. And we're also gonna speed through the uh, LED portion. All right, first step first, after you disassemble, you figure out how the heck this thing's supposed to fit in there. I realized that I needed my uh, extra sleds, which I just happened to have upstairs. Thankfully and didn't lose them. That was a close one. All right, so I grabbed those sleds and I Proceeded to screw them on and we're actually gonna skip through uh, This part where I struggled for maybe a good five minutes trying to figure out the exact hole uh, The screw needed to go in because it's only one screw could go in. I was thinking maybe two would go in On each side, but now it's just one on each side. So we're just gonna skip through this. Oh look, I got it together. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, so next step is to kind of plan everything where you're gonna run the wires. I had very limited space and already a lot of wires ran through the uh, case here and there is not a place to run the wires through the back of the computer, so, or the side of the computer. So it was a little interesting to do this. Just try to cable manage yourself pretty well. Also make sure that all your fans can reach, the power cords can reach the controller itself. If not, just use uh, the extension cord that comes with it. I actually ended up using one of the extension cords um, for one of the fans, but the rest I didn't need. I do wish the extension cords were black and not red, white, and black. White, I said white. Red, yellow, and black. Before you put all the rest of the computer back together, it's always a good idea to plug it into the wall and give it a good uh, power on test, see if it actually uh, boots and the fans and you know, whatever you mess with works. I'd like to point out that in this video that the lights appear to be uh, flashing a lot. That's not the case. They're actually just flickering extremely fast and the camera uh, was not capturing the uh, it doesn't have a frame rate to keep up with how much they were flashing or something, so it looks like they're flashing, but they're actually just flickering real fast. It, it looks like a steady light in the distance, you know, like how stars twinkle in the air. I'm just gonna, yeah, you know, we're gonna keep keep going, just keep going. And right here, I realized I had a problem. Fan number two was not spinning. I have three fans plugged into this. So after messing around with it a little bit more, I found out that the soldering on the uh, knob, the one for the fan 2 knob, was not completely uh, stationary or on. 
So what I did was I just swapped to fan number four, so I have one, three, and four. I'm not using the two. I could probably fix it myself if I wanted to, but uh, that's more work, and I just wanted to get to work at the moment, so. But I believe that was the only hiccup I had in the uh, build right there, other than the point where I uh, accidentally you know, shorted out the LED controller box, but which was explained in another video. All right, so this is the part where things get interesting. I, did, I decided to take off the big red button on top and uh, use the mechanical button to uh, turn on and off the LED lights, which uh, took a little while to configure. I must give out a, uh, I guess you call it a shout out to Corsair. I was testing out the button to figure out which wire needs to go into what spot, which required the computer to be on to supply power, and one of the wires uh, touched the metal case, and instead of frying uh, something, the power supply immediately shut off and protected my computer, which was great. No damage to the computer. I was a little bit more careful after that, and thankfully, that was that. So I finished connecting it to the big red button, put it all back together, and this is what it looks like. So for the conclusion, um, the fan controller is really nice. I, I enjoy it. It has big knobs on it, but they're a little bigger than what I would prefer, but I prefer the knobs over a touchscreen anyways. Those are nice. It has USB 3.0 ports, which work great, and a card reader, which is a little redundant because I already have a card reader and my floppy drive, which I use. I got this one because it had the physical knobs and it had USB 3.0 on it. So I can have 3.0 in the front. When you're building with these kind of components, uh, I mean, they are cheap, so you just gotta be careful with them. Don't treat them like they're invincible. The LEDs were great. I'm really happy with how they look with that clear window, and uh, kind of proud of my build. So it kind of shows it up a little bit better. Well, thank you so much for watching. I am I'm going to post this video. I'm going to post another couple of videos about the conclusion on, of uh, how. Um, the shorted out LED controller went south and I still figured out a way to do it without the controller. So have a great morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night. Have a good one.